Hi, I'm David Davis from Actual Tech Media. We're here at Pure Storage Headquarters, and I'm proud to be joined by Mr. Vaughn Stewart. He's the Vice President of Technology at Pure Storage. How you doing, Vaughn? I'm doing great, David. Great to see you again. Good to see you, too. So, hyperconvergence. It's, it's all the rage. There's a lot of companies jumping into the hyperconvergence bandwagon. I mean, I used to be an IT manager, and we had very distinct, you know, the server guys and the storage guy and the network guy. But more and more, I'm seeing that there's kind of this hyperconvergence of the IT group, if you will, where uh, people are doing fewer tasks and they're trying to become much more efficient. So I kind of wanted to get your take. I, I noticed that Pure Storage isn't a hyperconvergence. Isn't a hyperconvergence company, or isn't exactly offering a hyperconvergence solution. So what's your take on the hyperconvergence of IT? Sure. Uh, so hyperconvergence is, is for real. And, and the basic premise is this, which is a non-technical statement. Depending on the size of the organization, anywhere from 60 to 90% of the data center space is consumed by running a virtual infrastructure or a private cloud, right? Primarily it's VMware, but it could be OpenStack, Hyper-V, et cetera. Okay. And, and that means historically that footprint, the largest real estate in the data center is managed by two teams, the server team and the storage team. Right. So if you're a CIO, right, or you had a, to manage the bottom line of that infrastructure, you'd be like, why, do I, why am I paying two teams mm -hmm. to support a single architecture? Right? If you look backwards, you're like, hey, you know, I fixed this before with Oracle and Exadata. Right? I got to have my, my one team who runs Oracle run the stack. Why can't I run the stack? And so, um, Hyperconvergence in terms of merging the teams is, is, is in full force. Obviously, there's a products that, cap, that capitalize on this, your hyperconverged infrastructure, the notion of taking a server, putting disk storage inside of it, mm -hmm. and say, hey, we're going to make this a, an ecosystem based on a shared nothing architecture. And look, I've, I've gone on record on, on both these topics. I think uh, nine or 10 years ago, I blogged on virtualization admins or the new storage admins, right? And, I, and, and that's out there. I've also blogged that I don't think hyperconvergence makes for a good storage platform. Okay. And so um, the reason why we haven't entered that space today is I think we have a fundamental disagreement with the notion of what you can, can have with DAS. And so not to, to necessarily be, be the, the negative guy or the guy facing FUD, the, the, the bottom line of hyperconvergence is, is you have a couple of things that, that server admins need to be aware of. We look at when you converge compute and storage together, you have a loss of discrete failure domains. And as such, a storage issue becomes a compute issue, a compute issue becomes a storage issue. So you have to be aware of how does that impact your ability to deliver an SLA uh, if you've got a node failure, or if you've got to do a load balancing, right, or if you go through software maintenance. And there's a, um, that would be one. Second is, is I believe with Hyperconverge, you can either have a configuration that's either low cost, highly available, or highly performant, pick one. Mm -hmm. And so we've have a fundamental diff fundamentally different approach to this. What I would share with your audience is, is pure storage and all of the next generation storage platforms, Extreme IO, Solidifier, you know, the All Flash Nimble, all these products were designed to never require a storage admin. There's no storage admin skill set required. Okay. And so when you look at the pure storage flash array, there are zero tunables, meaning there's no tunables and there's no trade-offs. Everything is encrypted, it's reduced, and it's always gonna give you sub-millisecond latency. This means, bottom line, it is an ideal storage platform for the server admin who now has the responsibility to manage storage. There's nothing you can do in terms of making a mistake, and the only things that you can actually you know, go ahead and configure are service levels. What's the snapshot schedule? How are you gonna retain it? Do I wanna put a limiting quality of service metric capability on it? Or do I just want the auto QS just to function for you? That's it, fully plumbed into your hypervisor stack. And, and, and when you look at the economics, and we've published a paper on this, right? the economics between putting the, the, the flash array with any server platform, or the flash array as part of the flash stack, which is the converged infrastructure uh, joint investment between pure storage and Cisco, mm -hmm. The costs at the low end are comparable, and as you scale, they become more and more cost savings for you. And they're, again, they're riddled without any of the trade-offs, the performance um, you know, ceiling impacts, or other elements that impact your SLA. So bottom line, yes, we are bucking the trend by not providing servers with storage inside of them, um, but we believe when you look at it architecturally, if your goal is to enable server admins to run the stack, then your goal is to have the best storage platform that requires them to be successful with. And we believe we are there with the Flash Array.
That makes total sense. Yeah, I mean, I've seen uh, traditionally server admins, or I mean storage admins, had to go to a week-long class, maybe get a certification, and, and that's why you had to have these dedicated teams. So if you take that complexity away, storage becomes easy to manage, so easy that any server admin can manage it. Yeah, we, we, we have the iPhone principle, which is for most of us, at least for the, the engineers who are watching this video, most of us don't need a manual when you get a new uh, smartphone, right? Be it Android or, or Apple, uh, you know, you, you open the box, you can figure out and get it up and running without a manual. That's our, that's our intention with storage, and we believe that is exponentially simpler uh, than any of the storage offerings from a hyper-converged vendor. Excellent. Pure Storage helping to hyper-converge the IT team through efficiency, simplicity. Thank you so much for your time today, Vaughn. Yep. Thanks.